Hey guys, Caden Kale here, and today I will be showing you how to do the Superman laser eyes effect in After Effects. Now, for this tutorial, you may need a basic understanding of After Effects, so if you aren't too familiar with it, I'll have a link below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, after you open up a composition with your clip placed inside, right click this area and select New Null Object. Then, rename this to Left Eye Track. Now, do the same thing again, but call this one Right Eye Track. Now, with your main clip selected, go to Effect, Boris FX Mocha, and choose Mocha AE. This is paid motion tracking software, but the free version comes with After Effects, and that's all you really need for this tutorial. Also, you can just close these windows here. Uh, you don't actually have to register. Just click Register Later, or the X. Now, within Mocha, select this tool right here, and by left-clicking, make a shape around the left eye. Then, name the layer Left Eye Track. After you're done with that, click Track Forward, and Mocha will do the work for you. Once the tracking's done, go back to the beginning and do the same thing but for the right eye. Also call this one Right Eye Track. Once again, click Track Forward and wait for Mocha to finish. When that's finished, close Mocha and return to After Effects. In Effect Controls, click Create Track Data and select Right Eye Track. Then change the Export option to Transform and the Layer Export to Right Eye Track. And then click Apply Export. Now you'll see that the right eye track null actually follows the right eye. And now just do the same thing but for the left eye. Now, if you did this correctly, both of the null objects should follow their respective eyes. Also, if something isn't working, join my Discord server with the first link in the description, and I'd be happy to help you. Now that the tracking's out of the way, it's time to make some eyes glow. Right click this area, select New Solid, and name it Left Eye. Then click the Eye button next to it, making it temporarily invisible. Now selecting the Masking tool, draw a mask around the full left eye. Next, select the Circle tool. You can do this by alt clicking the Rectangle tool until you find the circle one. Using this, draw a mask around the iris. Now set this mask to Intersect. Click the eye again to re-enable the layer, and now the subject will have a full black eye. Then, click the spiral on the left eye layer and pin it to the left eye track. Now, if you did that correctly, the black eye should follow the left eye track. Once you're finished, do the same thing for the right eye. Since the track isn't 100% perfect, you may need to adjust the mask slightly by clicking the stopwatch next to the mask path to position it manually. To add textures to the eye, we'll use an effect called Fractal Noise. There are tons of settings for this effect, but decreasing the scale will give it more detail. Next, I'll be using an effect called VC Color Vibrance. This is a third-party effect from Video Copilot, but it's completely free and I'll put the link in the description below. Add this to the eye and change the color to whatever you'd like. Then add a glow effect. You can also duplicate this multiple times to really fine tune and add a special look to your shot. For the settings of these effects, there's really no right or wrong options, it's just about whatever best fits your shot. You can also turn on motion blur to make the eyes fit in with the movement of the scene. And that's it! Just play around with your settings until you find something you're happy with. These are the ones I use, so feel free to copy them into your project. I'll also be posting a link to the project file in the description below. You can also tweak the feathering of the mask to really get the look you want. Now, as a finishing touch, you can create a new adjustment layer and drag it right above the main clip. Using the circle tool, draw a mask around the eyes. Next, add a curves effect and drastically change the colors to match the eyes. Finally, feather the mask, and then using the spiral, link it to one of the eye tracks. Now you should have a full glow surrounding the eyes. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this is the first tutorial I've ever recorded, so uh, 
If it was a bit choppy, I apologize. Uh, also, sorry about the mic quality. I didn't really have time to record this uh, with the full setup. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said earlier, if you had any trouble, you can join my Discord server, first link in the description. I'd be happy to help you out. Also, uh, just a bonus, this laser effect, uh, it's actually pretty easy. If you use Mocha the same way that I showed in this tutorial, and use the video copilot plugin called Saber, you can actually do this pretty easily. But if you want me to go into more detail on how to do that, comment down below. But anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.